Sarah Land City Schools are changing a bus procedure to improve drop off times. Fox 10's Anaya Spraggs has more on the new system and what else the school district is doing to keep students safe on their ride home. Before the new school year starts for children in Sarah Land, staff are ensuring the ride from school goes a lot smoother. For the previous two years, we've realized that we've had a bit of a challenge um, in our routing and also for the safety of our students. We needed one consistent address that we dropped off on, dropped off or picked up in the morning every single day. Sarah Land City School Superintendent Dr. Aaron Milner says after speaking with their school board attorney and the State Department of Education, the district will be implementing a new bus procedure. With our transportation system, we're going to drop off at the at a bus stop affiliated with the student's home address. Uh, when you have a sub bus driver or you have a, a child that randomly is riding a bus, it really causes issues for the management of the bus. And often uh, we, would, we would have a child stranded on the bus and trying to figure out where to go. Some Sarah Land parents support this new procedure. I think it's great because it's, to me, it's safer. I worry about the children that have to walk, you know, a pretty good distance to get to their homes. Others call the new drop-off rule an inconvenience. One parent provided Fox 10 with an anonymous statement. Part of their statement says, quote, I understand the need for only allowing one location for each kid to get on and off, but I think the biggest issue that most parents are having is that this new policy is only allowing them to use their home address. For some people, the only option they are going to have now is sending their children home alone. Mandating one location for students to be dropped off is not the only thing Sarah Land City Schools are doing to improve bus safety. They'll also be checked in and off the bus this year uh, through some new software we, we have to make sure we're able to tell their, the parent, yes ma'am or yes sir, your child got off the bus at this time or got on the bus at this time. Uh, we're also going to have an app that we plan to implement about the third weekend that lets parents know where the bus is in relation to their bus stop so they can be there on time to pick up their child. Dr. Milner says most Sarah Land parents he's spoken to have been understanding of the need to keep students safe. In Sarah Land, Anaya Spraggs, Fox 10 News. And Dr. Milner says there will be no exceptions to the new procedure requiring students who ride the bus home be dropped off at a stop affiliated with their home address. Sarah Land City School students return August 7th.